Okay, real quick. Uh, I'm going to be brief about this. So, Claude Robinson here, shooting back again on the Black Magic Cinema Camera 6K full frame. Got it down, first try. I just recently picked up the Samyang 35 to 150. It is a variable aperture, which is a f2 to f2.8. So, the stop down is 2.8 that I usually try to keep it at. But at 35 millimeters, which I'm at currently, I could be at f2. Let's go through the cycle list of focal lengths that they have. Currently, I am at 35 millimeters. For this, I would use for a semi-wide establishing shot of my environment, the landscape, uh, the establishment, whatever it is that I am using to establish the shot, right? So this would be my 35 millimeter shot. What we're going to try, hopefully I'm in focus, I can't necessarily tell because I'm doing everything by myself, but the second focal length that I'm going to introduce is the 50 millimeter. One of uh, a lot of filmmakers or photographers, videographers, this is um, one of their favorite focal lengths, the 50 millimeter. It is the one that is most um, like the natural trained eye. So naturally what you kind of see is like 50 millimeters in a sense. Um, so this makes everything look somewhat natural. Again, we're shooting on 6K full frame, which is a open gate um, sensor. So I'm, I can have the ability to use this whole frame to do whatever I want. Um, but that is this um, focal length. What would I use this focal length for? I would use it to more or less um, introduce a subject. Um, whoever it is that is playing on screen, I would kind of want to go into their maybe origin and I would use the 50 millimeter to kind of introduce that character. Um, again, it's, it's very natural. Um, it kind of sees what the eye sees. So this is at 70 millimeters. This is a focal length that I would use if I was to get more into an emotional state for the subject and I want to kind of start to introduce how that subject is feeling dealing with whatever the story the narrative that is on camera on screen um, I would use this focal length onward to kind of introduce those details those emotions to draw out so we're kind of dipping more into the portrait focal lengths now we are on to the next one which is 85 millimeters so with this focal length I would use it for again more of portrait work this is a portrait photographer's favorite lens most of the time this is 85 millimeters and we are four focal lengths in right 35 50 70 yeah 85 and now we're going to move on to the last three focal lengths it has three more focal lengths points on this camera lens that's crazy to me that the fact that um you can pick this up for a decent price yes it does have its quirks here and there there are times when i try to turn on the lens and the focal the hunting of the focus um the focus plane i don't know the focus gears the focus shift is not working correctly and it just doesn't work so i need to turn it back off then turn it back on then it works i don't know if that's a firmware thing or what or i just have a faulty device but um yeah, that happens with mine. Maybe I need to just reach out to Sam Yang and see what's up. Um, so let's go on to the next ones. I literally do this all the time. I press the wrong button, then I have to press this button. But it doesn't focus on me until I'm in the middle. So um, that being another test that you can use your phone and the uh, Blackmagic app to control the camera, which controls the lens which controls the focus, right? You can control the focus right there. Or you can just press the center focus button when you're in the center and boom, I'm back in focus. Because before when I was making videos and somebody commented on it and said, you're out of focus, stop down. I'm probably still out of focus at 2.8, but um, I'm not as out of focus. <laughs> If that even makes any sense it makes it even a little bit better but regardless again we are doing a natural light test i don't have any lights on other than my window lights that are coming from the window the shades are up 
because I'm an idiot, they should be down. Because if I pointed down, maybe I wouldn't have like this raccoon look on me. Um, but it is what it is, right? We're just more or less figuring out how the lens works and if we even like the lens. Again, I haven't changed not one setting on my camera. It is at 400 ISO. It is at 5600 white balance. It is at open gate. It is at 12 to 1 compression. And I am shooting at 6K. So there's that. Um... I figured I'd do a little bit of framing on this one to make it a little bit of cinematic or give it a cinematic touch. You know how we on the YouTube world like to use that word so frequently. Cinematic. Sorry. This is at 100 millimeters. I am currently shooting at 100 millimeters, right? And this is another lens that I would use for more detail. Um, I would give this uh, focal length uh the award for detail honestly if i am doing anything as far as because i mean there's macro lenses and other lenses specifically for the 100 millimeter 90 millimeter whatever it is that is for detail right um so if i'm trying to get a close-up of a shot i was going to do something where i pointed on my phone but for now i just don't have the time or the light because i'm trying to get this done quick and go through the different focal lengths and focal uh ranges so again, this is the fifth one, right? We did 35, we did 50, we did 70, we did 85, we did now 100. So this is the fifth focal length on the 35 to 150. We have a few, two, we have a couple more to go. Right, so this is the 135 millimeter. I would use this uh, focal length for a close-up. If I needed to get a close-up shot, and I knew a subject was going to either be extremely in their thoughts, in their head, or emotional. I would use this, this, these next two focal lengths. Again, this is pushing to more of the extreme side, extreme close-ups. And again, this is crazy that we went from 35 to 135, a whole 100 millimeters um, pushed past the initial start. And we have a one more focal length to go after this. Last but not least, we have 150 millimeters. This being, I guess, your extreme close-up. This is the end of the telephoto range. And again, we started at 35 and we ended off at 150, which to me is just crazy for a, a lens to go that distance. Of course, we have 70 to 200. We have like 400, 600, 800, whatever it is. We have different lens like lenses like that. But we have never seen something um, with this range as far as wide to telephoto. Um, so I had to pick it up immediately. Um, possibly I will try to do a parfocal test. I can even try to do it now. I'll do it real quick after this. Um, but this lens is great. Again, it, uh, it opens up and stops down to 2.0 if you're on 35 millimeters. I think then at 5 or five. I think then at 50 millimeters, you get to like 2.2 or 2.5. And then 70, you get to like 2.7. And then 85 on, you get to 2.8. Um, don't quote me on that. Those are just my impressions of the lens. But you can mix and mingle between um, 2.0 to 2.7. I think between like 35 and like 70, 75. Um, so it's great. It's a great lens. It's great in low light. It, again, I don't have any lights on. There's a few, there's one practical light that's on, which is my desk light, which necessarily isn't emitting too much power for it to be illuminating my face. Right. Um, so I just have everything natural. I'm only using the windows. Again, all my settings are the same, which is at 400 ISO. Um, white balance is at 5,600. It is open gate. It is 6k. It is at 12 to 1 compression, and I don't know what else to say. 2.8 on the aperture because I'm all the way at 150, so the aperture at its lowest is at 2.8. I don't know anything else necessarily. Oh, yeah, it is par focal, so this lens is tested to be par focal, right? So I have, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just do it now, right? So with the phone app on the black magic phone app you can mess with the um 
the distance, the focal, the focal plane with the app, right? Cool. So I'm going to use the app to get my focus, which is right there. My eyes are in focus. I was in the middle. And now I'm going to get up right on camera and focus back out. Come sit back down. And all should still be in focus. I mean, if it all went well. So that is the parafocal test that I'm going to do for this lens. So I was at 50 and now I'm at 35. I again can control the app or the camera, the camera lens and the camera body with the phone app. And that's that. Again, this is the Black Magic Cinema Camera 6K full frame. We are shooting with the Sam Yang 35 to 150. Hope everyone enjoyed. Peace. Also, um, like, subscribe, and comment, all that jazz. I'm, I'm, I'm not necessarily good with the whole YouTube thing because I try to live my daily life and all that. But uh, I'm not saying that you can't be a YouTuber and live your daily life. Obviously, there's people that do that. But I just necessarily am trying to find the balance. So if you can give me a like, subscribe, and a follow. That would be great. Highly appreciated. I'm trying to necessarily potentially get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. I know that's wishful thinking, but maybe we can do it. I don't know. I got to be consistent. Appreciate y'all.